the Prophet وسلم, was the full package in the sense that his worship to Allah was the perfect example. And this is why Allah sent him to us as a messenger. If you look at his, the way he slept, the way he woke up, the way he prayed, the way he fasted, the way he dealt with his friends and companions, the way he dealt with his wives and children, you will find that everything, every aspect in his life was a form of worship. And this is why he was the full package. He was the best role model for us to follow. Mother Aisha used to say that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was never ever you wanted to see him praying, night prayer, except that you found him praying. And never ever you wanted to see him asleep, except that you would find him asleep. And he said that, I fast and break my fast. I pray and sleep. I marry women. Whoever wants a way other than my, my way, he's not from us. This is the balance of worship that the Prophet Sallallahu gave us the best of examples. Now, he used to always be consistent. So if he did something, he would continue to do it to the rest of his life. And this is what Mother Aisha said, that whenever the Prophet did something, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he stick to it. And this consistency is shown and known in many of his actions, Alayhi Salatu For example, we all know that he used to pray night prayer. And he used to pray 11, as Mother Aisha frequently said, may Allah be pleased with him, with her. However, if he overslept or something prevented him from praying night prayer, the Prophet would pray it during the daytime before the whole prayer and he would pray 12 rakahs. So the 11, he would add one so that it would be two by two by two, 12 rakahs. And he would not skip that just because he did not pray night prayer. He would continue to do it. And this is what he advised as per the hadith of Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. Also, the Prophet ﷺ once went to Aisha and he found a woman sitting with her. So he said, who's this? So Aisha is introducing the woman to the Prophet saying, she is so-and-so. Her name is so-and-so. She's a woman that does not sleep at night and she prays all night long. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, that this is not what Allah Azza wa Jal uh, uh, likes or loves. You should only do what you are able to do for Allah Azza wa Jal. Because Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala does not get tired, but you get tired. And this, the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu shows us that there has to be balance. Praying all night is not something that is healthy or that is something that is good. Having said that, the Prophet used to pray night prayer and he used to prolong his night prayer. Some of the hadith shows us that one of the companions prayed with the Prophet ﷺ. And in the first rak'ah, he prayed with Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, Surah Al-Nisa, Surah Al-Imran. Three longest surahs of the Qur'an in the first rak'ah. And whenever he went to bowing position to rukur, he would glorify Allah Azza wa Jal similarly to the length of his standing position. And when he, he, he rose up from rukur, he would also praise Allah Azza wa Jal similarly to the time of his bowing and his prostration is the same as well. And sometimes the Prophet was, used to pray night prayer until his feet were swollen. And they would say to him, Prophet of Allah, 
Allah had given you a carte blanche, forgiven your previous and upcoming sins. So why are you doing this? And he would say, if Allah did this to me, shouldn't I be a grateful servant of his? And his prayer as described by Mother Aisha, four rak'ahs, don't ask about how long and beautiful they were, two by two, of course. Then four rak'ahs, the same, and then three rak'ahs of witr. And the Prophet wasallam did not sit during his prayer except when he got really old. And that was in the last year of his life. And this is what Mother Aisha and Mother Hafsa, may Allah be pleased with them, said. And the best way to sit while in prayer, you can sit in any fashion you feel uh, fit to you. But the scholars say that the best is to sit uh, um, cross-legged because this is the more yani, uh, comfortable and appropriate way of sitting. And of course, sitting without a legitimate reason is not permissible in fard prayers because standing up is one of the pillars. But sitting with or without a legitimate reason in voluntary prayer is permissible. However, a person would be rewarded half the reward of a normal person standing up without a legitimate reason. So if you don't have a legitimate reason and you pray sitting down, your prayer is half of those standing up. The Prophet ﷺ, also part of his balance, he used to fast. And the minimum he used to fast was three days a month. And he would never fast a full month of the year other than Ramadan. Some scholars, some companions said. But the fact is that sometimes he may fast the whole of Muharram because this is the best month to fast after Ramadan. And sometimes he used to fast the majority, if not all, of Sha'ban because he said that this is a month that precedes Ramadan and people are negligent of it. Nevertheless, the Prophet ﷺ would advise the companions to fast the three days of every month as he did with um, Abu Hurairah and the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud that the Prophet used to fast three days والسلام, from the beginning of every month. So Aisha says, no, the Prophet used to fast without paying attention whether it's the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, or at the end of the month, providing he fasts minimum three days.